What's up everyone, Viper FPV here, and today we're going to be talking about stick endpoints and showing you guys how to adjust those. Now, if you're setting up a brand new quadcopter with a brand new model in your radio, uh, this is very important to go ahead and do uh, because not only does this affect the handling and not having nothing, no hands on the stick um, and having the quad go in a straight line, but also when you're arming your quad, um, if you don't have your throttle endpoint correct, um, sometimes I won't even arm because it's too high. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys how to uh, adjust your endpoints in OpenTX. Now I'll be doing this on the Radio Master T uh, TX16S, uh, but this will pretty much apply to any OpenTX radio from FreeSky to uh, the Tango 2. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, dive right in and show you guys how to adjust those endpoints. All right, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to plug, so I already have my quad plugged into Betaflight and I have it all pulled up here on the receiver tab. So you want to make sure that all your sticks are in the center, including the throttle, and you kind of give them a little wiggle. And uh, as you can see on the yaw axis, we have a little bit of some information we need to change. So we're, we're going to go ahead and go into the output section of the radio. So we're going to go ahead and go over here to turn, oops, page, 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 outputs. So throttle we don't have to worry about at the moment because we'll, we'll mess with that in a moment. But on our yaw axis, we're going to come over here and we're going to go to this section right here. This is our sub trim. So we're going to change the sub trim to yaw. So we're at 1497. We need to go up to 1500. We have to make sure that everything is at 1500 except for the throttle. The throttle is okay because, you know, you actually set that. Where you need to. Um, what we want to go ahead and do is come over to this section here and then just bring it up to where it says till the screen will show 1500. So I'm at just almost at 1500. So let me go ahead and uh, go to 0.4 and see how that does. Yeah, so that's perfect. So you want to do this on all the channels that don't show 1500 on. So you want to do that. So I just have the one for me for y'all, but you might have to do it on pitch roll and pitch and roll as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go return. So we're back at the this section where we can move around. Then we want to go and check our stick deflection. So when we pitch all the way up, it should show 2,000, and this one only shows shows 2011. So we need to bring that down a little bit, and then we need it when we go down. We have 988. I'm kind of far away from the screen, but what we want to go ahead and do is we're gonna go over to to pitch. And then we're going to go over where it says minus 100. We're gonna actually going to bring that down while we hold this down. So we have this held down like so. And you can see that whatever the number is, it's kind of far away from it. And then we're just going to keep scrolling our wheel down until we hit 1,000. So right there. And then we're done there. Now we want to go ahead and go up over to this side here and then we want to bring that down to where it's close to 2000. So that's as close as I can get, 2001. So that should be okay. So that's how we just did just the pitch and then you want to do that for all of them. Um, including throttle. Throttle is actually pretty important because if it's wrong on the bottom end it will not arm. So let me go ahead and turn here. I'm going to do the throttle one more time so you guys can get another example. So we're going to go to the min. So our throttle's already down. And right now we need to come down. So we're going to come down here. At 1,000. So that shows 1,000. We're going to be done there. And then we're going to come up all the way to the full throttle. And we're going to bring that down to 2001, most likely. Boom. Done. So you want to repeat that for the remaining ones, the last two. And then you have your, your sub trim set. And you don't have to worry about your quad drifting. And also having making sure you have the full stick deflection of everything. So I appreciate you guys watching. This was a real quick tip for today. I'll see you guys in a future video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And give this video a like. See you guys later. Peace.